Hello, how are you doing there? You might have been wondering how to use the Shape Builder tool. The truth is that it works the same way with the Pathfinder tool. But the difference, a little difference, is that one is automatic while one is a little manual. The Pathfinder tool, you need to make every effort by yourself. You, you need to make it. You need, it is more manual. Why the Pathfinder to you know it has a more, a more fluid function. It has a more fluid way of getting your results done. For example, now if I want to use the Pathfinder to to, to join these two vector together, all I just need to do is click on the Shift Builder to or Shift M or Shift M, then you need to select the tool that's another thing you need to know when you're using the shape data tool there's a need for you to select the vector you want to affect if you do not select the vector even if you overrun it it would not affect it so now i'll select this two because i'm I, i'm going to use now after you've selected the two then you see when you over on this or when you over on the document on the vector you see a net kind of representation that's to tell you that it, it will have influence if you can if you click on it you have influence on that so what i'll just do is drag on this thing so when you drag and you see these red lines this red line means that that is the boundary of the new shape that will be that will be that will be created the red line is it will tell is talking about the boundary of the new shape. If I drag it in this way, that means there, are, there will be three shapes that will be created: this one, the small one here, and the another one here. So it's the the red line is to tell you the boundary of the new vector shape that will be created. Now, if I click, if I drag and I release, now a new shape has been created. Let me press Ctrl Z. Now where it gets interesting is when there are complex selections to make like for example now you have this here let's say for example this one comes in like this so let's say i have something like this and i want to join this and this together with respect to this box let's say i want this box also to have an impact on the selection but i don't want to join this box to this circle i think you understand what i mean i want to cut out this box as i join this circle and this polygon to, together so let me select the three okay let me make the let me make the vector more complex let me bring a box shape here let me bring a box shape here and let me just select all and see what comes out of it. Now, I have something like it's, it has separated the though it has one one color field but what is there is that there are different shapes that have been created if i delete this now that's been created if i delete this that's is there delete this delete this so something has come out let me let's say for example there is one complex shape now that i you no, know, you can just use do a very very complex cutout in seconds. That is what the vector shape is all about. The shape builder tool is all about. That's what the shape builder tool is all about. It make it helps you to do complex cutouts in seconds. Like this now. Let me join it together and bring it here and make it cut out so 
all I just need to do is cut this one out and it's there so the shape did that too helps you to do, make a complex cutter but the real truth there is that it has the same it has the same function with the pathfinder too and there is a tutorial that i am going to do in my next video and that will be how to effectively or how to quickly draw the yin yang how to quickly you know make the yin yang shape and the shape builder tool will be part of the tools that i will use and it's even one of the major tools that i will use in it please do do please do check it out when when it is uploaded and i'll be happy to get your comments and please make sure that you subscribe thank you